Brick Maniacs, welcome back to another episode of Brick Mania TV. I'm Landon from the future. Not really. <laughs> That's an amazing impression. Um, welcome back, Brick Maniacs. Today on Brick Mania TV, I have John with me today. Who is not Landon from the future. Who is not Landon from the future. Um, because if you were Landon from the future, the universe would explode. <laughs> That's what happened last time. Uh, today, we are showing off the Type 99A Canadian, oh wait, Chinese main battle tank? Chinese main battle tank, not Canadian. Right. Um, Easily mixed up, though. Yeah, for sure. You want to talk about it? Yeah, I do want to <laughs> talk about it. Okay. This tank is awesome. I, I enjoyed this one. Shall we Drive it pull forward. it out? There we go. It, this one's cool because um, I enjoyed doing the color scheme on this one. Mm -hmm. It was a very um, digital looking yeah. uh, camouflage pattern that they had. So we used, we used three of the primary colors that were in the camo, which were um, a lighter green, a darker green, and the dark tan. Olive green, of course, is the Lego uh, color for that yeah. one. Um, this tank, just a, just a couple of features on this tank. Um, it does have one usual and unique uh, technological marvel, mm -hmm. and I'm reading exactly what it's going to no, say it's in all the description. Good. Um, on the tank, it's a laser communication device which can be used for sending line of sight encrypted transmissions in the form of text, data, or voice. Unbelievable. That's what this says right here. Forth. Unbelievable. So this one um, has some really cool features on where's, where's it. Where's the laser? Where's the laser at? Um, it's there somewhere. Okay. One of these things is a laser. <laughs> this thing goes up. Look at this. You can do this. Boop, 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 boop. Little antenna. It's got a, a Dushka machine gun, which is like a super huge, powerful machine gun on there. You have two top opening hatches, for one for the commander and one for the gunner. Let's move him to the other position. Put him over here. There we go. Fun to play with. Yep. Um, this one comes uh, with another hatch, which is right in front here. Now, what I did was I often build the um, front uh, armor here, uh, basically the front of the tank's uh, sloping armor, and then decide, I should say, the, 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 this part and the top of the tank here. I build it, and then I go, well, let me see if I can fit a minifig. Then I, what I have to do is kind of dig it out a little. Sure. So I make it as strong as I can on top, but as soon as you get to the second layer, there's some room so you can sit a guy in there and have his head pop out. Because uh -huh. about all these main battle tanks have a hatch on the front for um, a front um, for the driver basically mm -hmm. to pop his head out so he can he can drive and see where he's going without the uh, periscopes and so forth. So we also have some really cool stickers on this one. Mm -hmm. um, you can kind of see if I turn this this way. The side armor does hide a lot of it, but um, these tires, of course, were multicolored to match the camouflage of the tank. So Slam designed some stickers, which really came out nice to go over just about all the wheels. And I think they're all over every single wheel yeah. in the back. So both sides, so you have dark tan, dark green, and olive colored um, camouflage, or I should say matching color right. to the tank uh, on those wheels. There's also a cool couple of stickers on the back for the rear lights there. And then you can see this cool sticker on the side here, mm -hmm. which is the numbering for the tank. And, and we should point out that we are missing one key for yes, the part. Yes, yes, thank you for reminding um, me. Yes, there's the, the, uh, the star right there. That's a really, like, we're still waiting on the printing for that, so this is kind of a prototype model. Yeah, so this brick here, mm -hmm. uh, sloped cur curved brick here and here will have these nice printed yep. red and yellow um, it's a symbol. Really, for this the is a really sharp looking tank. Chinese yeah. Liberation Army. Yeah. Chinese. Chinese People's Liberation Army. There we go. Yep, that's it. Um, of course, the barrel will go down and go up. The turret spins all the way around. Okay. Da, 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 da. There's a really cool thing in the back, which rumor has it that Landon himself kind of came up with this method. It's a way of actually taking two two by two cylinders, two, two, two by two brick cylinders. You use an axle in the middle, but if you want to use them to attach to something, you can put a one-by-one one, um, plate with clip horizontal mm -hmm. 
inside these little notches. See these little notches right here? Inside little notches, and then you this little, see if we can pick it up. No? It's a very slight little snap. <laughs> but it's yeah. nice and solid. And it I'm makes a great drum. Yeah. And you have just this very minimal way of attaching it. So we attach it back here. I'll spin the tank around in a second. So we have these two attached back here, which really looks cool. Yeah. I, I've realized from doing this, and I might even said it last time, I might say it every time we make a main battle tank, but this position of it turning sideways, I think it because of an image I had when I was a kid ah. of a tank I had. When you spin it to the side, of course, it sticks off this direction, yeah. and it just looks really cool. Like if it was going down the road and all of a sudden had a target to its 90 degree to the left or right, it spins around like this and just fire while it's moving forward. It's just, yeah, that's cool. for me, it's a very iconic kind of a yeah. image of a, of a tank like this. So. so what else can we say about this tank? Okay, so I'll show you what the sticker sheet Ooh, check will out. look like. Yeah, again, full color sticker sheet included with this kit, uh, designed by Slam. And designed by Slam. I believe he was on a previous episode. He was? So you got to meet, you could see Slam in the, in the, uh, in the, in the flesh. flesh, yeah. We'll try oh. and get him on a few more, but patience. Uh, right. <laughs> so I've been... We'll get for, him on some more episodes. Yeah, for sure. Um, I've been um, adding little food products and little things to the tanks just because I like to do it. It's a toy. For me, it's, I love it. It's a historical replica of a real tank, but for me, it's also a toy, so it needs to be playable. Sure. So with this one, you get a sack of rice, which is really cool. It's a black sack with white writing. I thought that was really striking. Yeah, absolutely. The symbol for rice. There's a number of different symbols for rice, but this is one we chose to put on there. And then the little, every time you go into a restaurant um, that, that sells Chinese-type food, Normally there's a waving kitty, which I believe is for good luck, mm -hmm. prosperity, that type of thing. I'm probably way off on that, so. It's the beckoning cat, right? So it's a happy cat. waving cat. So you get this happy waving cat little element, which you can have the tank. Oh, well, we didn't even talk about the uh, tanker yet. Oh, yeah, we can get to him in a bit, yeah. So oh, yeah. at first this was gonna be our, our driver, just a little yeah. happy waving kitty. But we decided, oh, let's put the a. the luckiest tank in the world. So. <laughs> let's put actually a human in there. So yeah. Landon designed the artwork for this. And then our. Sl yeah, Slam put together the artwork for the, uh, the food items. For and the food items, and right. The and then cat. Landon, you designed yes, the. Yes, I did. You want to go over that? Uh, want me to go over that? Yeah, please. Cool. So this is just a very basic uh, tanker uniform. And that is the Type 07 camouflage, I believe. Type 07. And um, so it's I thought it's, it was an 08. No. My bad. Oh wait, that's so <laughs> so much different. No, sure. uh, so this is kind of their, this is their universal camouflage. Um, so it's it's the base color is kind of um, it's it's a really close to Lego light gray, but maybe a little bit of, of yellow added to that. So I actually did do a little bit of color shifting on that by printing a uh, a layer Oops. of. Whoa! You whistled. In the I whistled. Sorry. <laughs> no, I actually I did a little bit of color shifting with that by printing a layer of uh, yellow to adjust that to get that color. Um, like spot on. It actually kind of looks really close to the uh, old Lego gray, which is cool. Uh oh, he's trying to get away from uh -oh. his tank. Because he's just gonna like get closer. <laughs> That's how okay, you tank. we don't have to shoot him. Um, so then, yeah, it's a digital camouflage pattern. Um, it kind of looks like cross stitching, doesn't it? <laughs> we were laughing about that. Um, cross stitching? Yeah, you know, the crocheted stuff. Oh, <laughs> I mean the digital. Yeah. Um, but uh, no, it's a cool camouflage pattern. They have it in a whole bunch of different color variants, but this is their kind of their universal one and it's a more common than a lot of the other ones. Cool. So yeah, so and so you can stick them in any whichever you want here, yeah, here, or you can have them even put them down here. What? Close down the hatches, put the driver in there like he's driving and then you know he's he's in command at that point. So. Very cool. Yes. Yeah. So and it rolls great. Great roll for this one. Um, you'll have hours and hours of fun playing with this one or if you're the kind of person that really wants it for a display case or a shelf or something like that, mm -hmm. it looks great. It's a it's a beautiful beautiful tank. I don't want to toot my own horn, but uh, the camouflage I thought came out real nicely. Tooting your own horn. Of course, Lego that comes up with nice. the colors, so here he's gonna be up here. How about that? Oh no! Is oh, he's okay? got so he's got everything. Luckily, he's, he had his helmet on. He's going on. I'm tired. I'm gonna go home. Hey, honey, here's my stuff. <laughs> You can stand right there. There we go. The I left you one little one by one uh, stud sticking up. There's like practically no studs showing on this tank at all, except for a few on the side, a couple on top. But uh, it's, it's slick. It's 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 a cool tank, and you'll you'll love it if you, you, if you get it. this one. So right on. I'm sure there's something I forgot to say, but okay. what the heck? 
It's all good. That's, that's solid. Um, anything else? Yeah. No, um, um, I was thinking if there's any other challenges for building this. Yeah. Um, they're all a little challenging. Um, Every one, even though very similarly, I set up the, uh, the chassis for the treads to work so they don't hit the sides and hit the fronts and right. blah, blah, blah. Even so, sometimes if you don't push down a particular piece enough, it'll get in the way. So keep, be aware of that if, yeah. you're, if your track is sticking on anything. You just have to tighten things down a little bit. But um, no. It rolled, so, uh, it, it's nice that it does roll smoothly once you build it, um, mm -hmm. even with those, uh, the side armor there. So. Right. Very yeah. nice. Right on. Cool. Enjoy. Um, that is the episode. For more information, please check out BrickMania.com. Thanks for watching.